Hello, and welcome back to the adventures of Terrapin the Hobbit Rogue. If you recall, last time we faced a humiliating defeat on Sokoban 4. So we're fleeing back to the main dungeon. Um, but first, we have to face our most terrifying foe yet, inventory management. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I don't need, and a few things that I do need, and I'm going to have to figure out which is which. Um, so because I'm going back to mine town, I'm going to want to curse test some of this stuff. Um, but I don't have room for all of it. Um, so first we just check in. There is an altar on my um, on the um, floor of the Gnomish Mines, so I can, can test that, curse test some stuff there and then just leave it. Um, that'll be particularly useful for armor since I'm not going to need all of it. Um, arrows, I don't really care about at the moment, so I'm going to leave them here. Um, these are already curse tested, this I'm not going to use. Gold, I might have enough to buy protection. Um, we'll see, so I'm going to keep that for now. Definitely don't need all these food rations, but as a hobbit I'm going to want to keep some of them. Um, other food I don't care about. Tripe I might want for pets. Um, might as well bring unknown BUC ones. Don't need the tins for now. And then I will want to bring most of these scrolls to uh, price identify. Don't need to bring spell books. Don't care about potions right now. I want to bring the rings for price identification. These aren't super important though. Um, yeah, I'll leave them here. Don't need these wands. And I want to keep the other stuff. Okay, so. Um, as the game continues, we've reached the, um, the stage of the game where the greatest enemy is yourself. <laughs> um, your boredom as, oh, I took out the wrong scrolls. Your boredom is your force to kind of go back and forth, managing different stash locations, stuff like that. Um, it can be a real pain. And a lot of times I'll just kind of leave a game for a little while if I'm not feeling up to it. Um, maybe play a different variant or um, play on my alternate account or something like that. Um, and then when I'm feeling up to it and ready to roll, I'll come back because you don't want to play board. That's the worst. Um, you may recall I have a whole bunch of stuff here from when I was coming up to Sokoban. Um, and our old enemy, the rabbit dog, which is no longer a concern for us. Okay. Um, I'm going to just leave all the potions because they're so heavy, and I'll probably find a nearby, nearby a closer shop to price identify stuff. Alrighty. I think we're good. Okay, so now we just need to get our cat to get over here. There we go. And have I mentioned that Sokoban... Okay, I have not said that it's a stash, so I should do that. I'm going to try to get my cat to s not come up with me, because might, she might eat some tri uh, tripe rations, which would be very slightly annoying. Okie doke. So, oh right, and there's a whole bunch of leprechauns on this floor, which presumably have a good amount of gold. 
So if I can get 4,000 gold together, that'll be enough to buy some protection, which would be great. Also, there's a longsword somewhere around here, which I should probably pick up. Um, I'm currently going with just one short sword because my two weapon combat's already maxed, and I'm not in particular need of being able to kill things fast. Um, I'm just going to check real quick if I left the longsword up here. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I honestly don't know where it went. Um, probably the level 4 stash, I guess. Anyway, um, I might decide to start um, training that up as well. We also have some zombies on the level. Oh, there's one of them. There's another one. Yeah. And I have a unicorn horn, so I'm good to eat this thing. And we're back to chasing down leprechauns. I also have a pickaxe, if I recall correctly. Yes. So, if I find any vaults, there is one vault on six, it looks like, but I haven't found any others, or I haven't noticed any others, at least. Um, and I'm going to continue to tin uh, teleportitis granting stuff when I can find it. So if or when I find a ring of teleport control or get the intrinsic, Ugh, there's that freaking undead turning leprechaun again. I forgot about that. I fought it when I was going up to Sokoban, and it stole some gold and teleported away. There we go. I'll just leave the other corpse in there because they're. Or no, wait, I think they're both not UC identified. So it should be fine. If I didn't want them to, like, not stack, that'd be a pain. Okay. We've got Undead Turning now. Undead Turning is great if you have a pet that you really care about, especially a large one, but I don't particularly care about my pet and she's not very big, so. She might not leave a corpse anyway. Um, one thing I find particularly amusing is... Oh, there is a vault on this floor. Counting money. Um, the knight's special spell is Undead Turning. Um, and for a long time I thought it was because... Like, they're knights. They, they can turn undead. You know, it's all part of their... Holy Warrior gimmick. Sort of. They're, they're kind of paladin-y in terms of their general vibe. Um, you know, they can cast clerical spells with metal armor and that sort of thing. Um, but it occurred to me recently that it's actually very useful for resurrecting their dead steeds. Um, and that might very well be why it's their special spell. Because it's trash for anything else. Um, you know, trash for actual offensive purposes. And the leprechaun. And we'll leave out the digging wand and the light wand because they're among the few um, escape options we have on hand. Um, and then finally, we're going to look for this vault because currently we're only at 3,000 odd gold. So. We need to up our reserves a bit more to get some protection. Alrighty. And I think that's all the leprechauns. Yes, it is. So we're on to the level above. I should 
probably just dig a little tunnel here actually because I'll be going through there a fair bit and when I start traversing the dungeon regularly oh and I forgot we haven't really totally explored all these levels yet because we were diving down to get food um, so we might as well do that too did I see a for a second I thought I saw a counting money message, but I didn't. I, actually, now that I think of it, they probably don't happen on um, the Oracle level. Ugh. Not even at half half. Not even at half health. If you recall, I killed one of these in Sokoban earlier. It wasn't too big of a deal. This one seems to be giving me a bit more trouble. Maybe more health, maybe bad rolls. Eh, it's getting there though. Yeah, okay. And that's some nice food to tide me over during the long, um, the long trip back upstairs. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna check these statues for spell books, because why not? Oh, and a wood elf. Yes, more sleep resistance. Aha. Uh -huh. Back to two weapon for serious fighting. No corpse. We have another possible cloak, which could be helpful. And let's get another spell book. Mm, heavy one. I think I'll leave the spell books on the upstairs when I before I go up. Because I don't need them. I can bring them back pick them up on the way back down and stick them in my Sukkabon stash or somewhere else. Um I'm gonna back up from this ape. I wanna fill it with as many daggers as I can, which is unfortunately not too many. Um before I kill it. Because I'm confident in being able to kill it, but it might take a little bit of doing. Oh yes, and we've got a turn to flee. Um, so fun fact about the backstabbing when you're two weaponing, it halves the damage per weapon. So if you get if you hit with both both weapons and do backstabs, then it's the same as one backstab when you're just wielding a single weapon. Um, so it's not like super beneficial to wield two weapons, um, but it is nice that you're able to do backstabs at all with two weapons. Ugh, already burdened. Oh, but that's because I have my tin and kitten pickaxe out, which I don't need on a regular. No, I need the pickaxe out for now. Move this straw weapon. If it was a flesh golem, I might have like held out for, for the off chance that I found like stone to flesh or something, because that would be some sweet resistances. We've got ourselves a teleport scroll and a statue trap, apparently. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Um, we found five rooms. That's all the rooms you're going to get on the oracle level. So back upstairs we go. And I'm going to dump out the stuff I don't want to bring up, which would be spell books. I wouldn't leave the potion too. here too. Cool. Oh my god, I'm satiated. That is incredible. Right, and I'm totally good for poison resistance. I never thought I'd see the day. Um, just because I'm satiated doesn't mean I'm going to stop eating stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's good for now, actually. But 
who knows how much food I'm gonna find later. And I can burn through it real quick, so. Um, I'm gonna stick with light armor for two reasons. One, because it's light, and I want the inventory space. Uh, two, if I wear rigid armor, then I don't get a bonus from a dex, uh, AC bonus from dexterity. And my dexterity is pretty high, so I have a reasonably good AC bonus currently. I think it's like plus two or something. Oh, I'm not cold resistant yet. <laughs> um, so putting on banded mail or something, I think it would still probably be an improvement over my plus one leather, but it wouldn't be by much. Um, so we see there the dangers of uh, dangers of becoming satiated. I don't think I really abuse my dexterity in another meaningful way, but either way. Um, that said, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah, that barely lasted me. A few turns of satiatedness. Then the vault's probably over here, so I'm gonna dig that out real quick. First I'm gonna see how far, okay, I wanna see how far away I need to dig from the wall to make sure I won't, like, miss it if it's pressed up all the way to the left. Um, because, yeah, the, the limits to how far you can dig in a certain direction, they change from floor to floor a little bit. of gold. This might be enough for two rounds of protection. Um, oh, and a chest. That's nice. Um, and it looks like this horse is, yeah, neutral to me. Get another amulet. Definitely not life-saving this time, since we've already did that already. Could be something good, though. If I had magic missile or another relatively undamaging bouncy ray wand, I would check if it was reflection. With magic missile also, I could check if it was resist um, magic resistance, but currently I have no such wands, so I have to live with the mystery. Um, I am going to check real quick if it's cursed, though. Well, it looks like it is. So it's probably not a good kind of amulet anyway. And with that, we're going up another floor. Where jackal. Cool. That's one thing I certainly don't want to eat. There's a vault here, presumably down in this corner. found the limits of the floor, how far out things can be. Nope, and there we are. And yeah, that brings us to above 8,000, I believe. Cool. So, that'll be good for protection-y stuff. Yeah, black light. Luckily I have a unicorn on me. Unicorn horn on me. 
I'm going to actually put on my candle since there's zombies about. I don't believe rogues get warning, which is kind of a shame. Um, it's real useful. More so in, in Evil Hack than in Vanilla. Um, yeah. The Oracle spawns with a... She has a an artifact called the Magic Gate Ball that grants warning when carried. Um, and I've been known to murder her or otherwise get her killed for it um, if I can't get warning some other way. I want to say the Rogue Quest artifact grants warning, so it shouldn't really matter to me at the end of the day. Um, but for now, it's kind of a pain. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm neutral, so I don't want to murder her, and my pet certainly couldn't, couldn't take her. Um, let's see if my pet will steal this for me. Mimic. Leave that for now. Have I identified smoky potions yet? No, okay. Just curious. Oh, we have here a uh, either blessed or cursed potion of so holy or unholy water. Um, and we'll see if my pet steals it. I'm honestly hoping she doesn't because that would mean it's unholy water, which is definitely more useful. I, I mean, not more useful, but it's it's harder to obtain. Um, oh, and as I was wondering, we have ourselves a smoky potion here. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try to get that one too. Um, normal potion of water. And I think this could be either 60, 80, 106, 142. Yeah. Unless I've already ID'd an enchant weapon. I have not. Um, steel ring well, definitely not worth it. Engagement rings are also made of gold, um, so I have many colors set accordingly, and I am careful of leprechauns accordingly. Um, I'm just going to add PID on the end for price ID. Um, if you engrave with a wand and nothing happens, it could of course be nothing, um, but in that case, the wand would be 500 serpents. Uh, so I know that whatever it is, it's something potentially useful. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned the 500 Zorkman thing before, but yeah, in Evil Hack, they've changed one of nothing to 500, which is super mean. But um, the effect is that if you find a 500 Zorkman one in the shop, you don't just immediately try to escond with it, because... In vanilla, it would be wishing or death, and both of those are usually worth getting a shopkeeper mad. Um, not so an evil hack. So, I say this is acid or oil. Let's just oops, um, check real quick. Calculator time 444 over 1.78. Yep, it's a 250. Uh, leash. I might have gone for if I didn't have a magic missile, but currently I don't really need it. Um, barding, definitely not useful for now. And super heavy, so I'm not going to bother moving it over here yet. I mostly pile stuff up so my pet won't pick it up instead of the stuff I want it to actually steal. And she's not strong enough to pick up a barding anyway, so moot point. Oh, giant beetle. And yet another corpse. I swear there's something wonky going on with the corpse generation. Anyhow. Um, oh. Silly cat. Don't pick fights with Munix. I 
gonna try to see if I can get this dude onto the doorstep. There we go. Um, don't want to fire my daggers and have them fly into the shop, so I'm going one at a time. Even though mimics are pretty tough. free squirrel for my efforts. That's neat. And of course I got this amulet from my cat. Amulet of flying, that's real nice. Not currently, like not at the moment, but um, definitely one of my preferred amulets in the late game. Um, largely because I'm terrified of open air. Uh, and levitation or levitation ring isn't really the best defense because it could get destroyed by lightning. So these are jumping boots since I was able to jump with them. <laughs> um, it looks like there's actually nothing left uncursed in the pile of the pile of junk I left here. So I'm going to drop the clear potion here. Oh, it's holy water. Okay, good to know. Um, where to go? Here. And I'm going to name this level accordingly, in case my cat doesn't take it. And see if I can get her to take the smoky potion instead. Wait for it. I probably should have thrown her a tripe ration a little while ago, since I was, I'm kind of going on an extended stealing spree here. I'm gonna loop. so there's another vault here um, but I'll dig it out like right away so I'm not gonna annotate the level um, and then finally I have a bunch of scrolls that I can price ID here and what else do I have just scrolls oh and rings that gold is probably not a terribly useful ring, since it's so likely to be stolen. Okay. Here's a fun fact about rings. Um, if they are erode-proof, they have a chance of resisting getting disintegrated by lightning. So your steel and stone rings are nice, because they have a chance of resisting. I want to say one in three, or it might be two in three, don't remember. Um, if you end up with like an iron ring of free action or something, um, you can always erode proof it by wielding it and uh, reading a confused enchant weapon. It'll work on anything. Not scrolls or uh, potions, maybe. I don't know. But you can't make fireproof scrolls. I've tried. Very disappointing. Uh, to be honest, I'm, yeah, I don't. It's kind of odd because like they're made of paper, and paper is explicitly can be made fireproof. Um, but I think that's only the case for things not normally made of paper. Uh, so like if you ended up with a paper weapon or something, which should be impossible anyway. Uh, but. Um, yeah, fireproof scrolls are not a thing. Um, and yeah, if you can fix potions, it could it would only be against shattering anyway, which is really rare. So they could still boil and explode as well. Basically, my point is there's no clever way of getting around the normal 
um, restrictions against wielding or uh, carrying potions and scrolls in open inventory, unfortunately. Is it vault somewhere around here? With my luck, it's on the other end. It probably is. Yeah. We made it get up to twelve thousand. Um, oh, I want to go upstairs, not down. Where's our stash here? Oh, I think it's in the. Where is our stash? There it is. Oh, yep, and there's our longsword. Price I need stuff here. I'm gonna keep the 100 rings because they might be protection against shape changing, which is never not useful. Um, anything else I want to bring out? for now. Then we check that this longsword is not cursed. Don't have any rustable stuff. Or is it cursed? No, it's not. Um, so I'm going to put that in a weapon letter and wield it against uh, boring enemies. I won't wield it regularly because it's rustable, and if I face something dangerous, I don't want to waste the turn swapping. Well, I'm happy to waste the turn against boring ones. Oh, and we have yet another vault. That's cool. Food the first we've seen in a little while. This bolt could be pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the longsword in while I take out the pickaxe so I don't get all encumbered. Oh, I got encumbered anyway. 16 units. One benefit of not feeding my cat any tripe rations is she won't pick up a bunch of stuff now. Um, if I have a pet that I explicitly want to steal stuff and plan on not doing much else with, then sometimes I'll try to raise their report with tripe, but otherwise I try to get it as low as possible so they don't move stuff around with, you know, without me wanting them to. Um, huh. I'm pretty sure I looted the floor that I labeled gold, but honestly I have no idea. Whatever. 
Well, it's not totally whatever, because I'm close to 12,000 gold. Well, I'm close enough that I can just sell some random crap in the general store. Yeah. That'll be fine. Um, just enough weight to bring out my long sword, and we're good to go. Oh, and even this level is not fully explored. Hmm. I'll just eat it. Um, these are boring enemies, so even though my mithril will totally wreck them, I'm going to give my longsword a try. Might as well search for stuff when I can. It'll bring my wisdom up a little, and that'll allow me to use my tool horn more often. Um, I'm pretty reasonably high level. I think I'm gonna try to convert the altar. Boom. Alrighty. Angel of Isaac, 52, what are their attacks again? Right, they have that magic missile thing. Not wielding a weapon, I don't believe. I'm gonna see how many daggers I can fill this dude with first. Oh, or he'll just leave. Okay, you do you bro. Oh, and it's back. <laughs> Just in time. Um, get my short sword back. Oh, my short sword's maxed out now too, that's nice. I should maybe trade my thievery a little more. I don't know if I'll actually use skill slots on it, but I don't know. I might. Or, oh, not angle. Are angels resistant to blinding? Who knows? I mean, I know it's a thing, but I don't really know who has it. Ah, uh -oh. Okay, I'm totally running away from that. That was a lot scarier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Luckily, I can just head to the Gnomish Mines and totally avoid the consequences of my actions. Right, there's still an arrow trap here that I haven't undone yet. Might as well drop by there. Constitution's finally back up to where it was before. Oh, it was a, that was a bear trap. Maybe I did the arrow trap already? Mm. I don't know. Don't eat the hobbit, don't eat the hobbit. Okay. This annotation anyway. Um, okay. Gnomes are to totally fair game. Oop. Shoot. And I'm just gonna have to try to. to steal two things. I don't care too much about jumping boots though. I should have not gone past it because my cat was totally going to wake it up, but honestly I just wasn't paying attention. And by the time I stopped, the only way out was through. <laughs> don't eat the hobbit, don't eat the hobbit. If I mutter it to myself enough, then maybe I'll... maybe it'll work. Oh, 
Oh, and I think this gnomish wizard. No, it is peaceful, okay. I had a vague memory of it being hostile. Honestly, it might not have even been hostile. Um, it's looking like this is indeed object detection, since I found two of them on nymphs. Um, if I price ID it as 150, then I'll just name it object detection. Got my stethoscope back in its proper slot. And ready to go. And might as well eat these now that they're here. Glass will shatter whenever I throw it, so it's not really worth it. Um, they do plus three damage, which on slashing and piercing weapons, which is as good as crystal. Um, and better than Mithril. But even melee attacks will shatter them most of, uh, enough of the time that it's not worth using one unless it's fixed. Um, in which case, I'd say like a glass katana would be better than a, a fixed glass katana would be better than a Mithril one. 